my dear friends welcome to rajshekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 453 in this lecture we will try to understand kaggle winner solutions to learn more about featureizations i strongly recommend you to go to kaggle and go to winner interviews page you can reach this page by googling it up just to go to google and say kaggle winners entries if you just if you just google for it we can find winner interviews on this particular page one thing you quickly notice is for every major problem there is actually winners interview for example you can go to this problem let's go to this problem and see if i just go to this problem first place winners in interviews here you have a nice uh, interview discussing what is who, who is the person who is that person isn't it just see this one who is the uh, who is the person and who solved it what is the uh, what is the background you can see the ba ba what is the uh, background they have in in, in this uh, to solve this problem how did they get into this and and you have and you have nice uh, technical discussion here here this person says that uh, two two to three, two or three way interactions they find the parameters using uh, using i can say xgboost there is a very nice description how they solved this particular problem how they handled uh, or how they handled uh, missing values isn't it so they have done very good job so the kaggle winner interviews is very good place to place to you to look uh, look at and uh, uh, look at real world problems so here it says how they used one hot uh, uh, how they used one hot encoding of categorical features so this problem of course th this is a problem of predicting mesdes bunge greens uh, masking masking ch uh, masking challenge masking challenge first place uh, uh, first place winners interview i don't know what is this exact problem is but for most problems there are there are these winner solutions which i have read in the past i really enjoyed because it introduces me to new ways of featureizing uh, new ways of featureizing data and new ways of understanding it again there is a whole description sometimes people put um, you know, put of code and analysis like uh, uh, analysis uh, like uh, and you can see the code also you can see the analysis how people build multiple models you can see the uh, multiple models and how they combine models they there is also very nice uh, discussion on uh, the words of wisdom isn't it? just just see uh, words of wisdom especially people have been doing machine learning uh, and uh, data science for long time i really enjoyed reading this winners interviews very very uh, useful place to learn about uh, to learn from others because no human being no person can solve hundreds of problems in a year so uh, best way I, I i actually follow this blog consistently and i try to read at least one or two solutions that are posted every few weeks this part is this part of my uh, this is part of my weekly reading list my reading list is fundamental research as well as applied stuff this is very very applied stuff here here is the introduction of uh, who is the winner who, who is the winner is also some description some description about the problem what is the problem i think it is about uh, you can see the problem i think it is about de detecting car something like that then then there is a lot of good research how they solve this uh, um, problem very very nice uh, very very uh, interesting research on what works for them very very useful stuff i strongly recommend anyone is get getting into data science uh, because look at it you can't solve hundreds of problems uh, 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 as i told you while uh, while ago so the, so the best thing for you would be to read about uh, people who have solved lots of problems because each of these people very very useful 
uh, solved many problems very very useful stuff there is hundreds of problems which are solved i thoroughly enjoyed enjoyed by reading of these problems similarly if you go to kaggle.com just see if if you go, if if you go to uh, some kaggle.com pick up any competition of your uh, your choice let's take any problem at hand click on competitions just uh, there is an option just see there is a all comp all competitions isn't it uh, you you can go to any competition for example let's take the problem of uh, uh, just uh, just see uh, there is so many competition active competition first and future player contact just see you can see many many competitions isn't it let, let for example let's take this problem uh, mercury price uh, suggestion challenge there is actually a discussion just see you, you can see the just see you can see the discussion isn't it if you are trying to solve if you are trying to solve this problem there are lot of people who do exploratory data analysis or who write about what features are working who would ask about domain uh, itself probably i don't know anything about this uh, Mer uh, mercury price suggestion challenge this discussion is uh, very very useful Th these discussions groups are super useful because they tell you what you look for and what features are working what features are not working this is very very useful i thoroughly enjoyed uh, enjoyed these uh, enjoyed these discussions are sometimes very long my suggestion my 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 suggestion would would be always my suggestion would always be to read winner solutions also for running competitions for every competition you have this beautiful discussion thread asking everything that what kernels work for them most importantly you can learn, learn about domain because people who is organizing this competition are also on this discussion boards and they helps you to understand what is the problem i strongly recommend you to go to the problem please go through discussions uh, uh, discussions and also winner solutions that will give you huge value huge value proposition the, uh, this this should be in your continuous reading list every week i have tried to do it almost for the last few years and i am super happy with what i learned this is all applied machine learning of course there are two parts to it applied machine learning and applied artificial intelligence and there there is a research oriented artificial intelligence there is a research oriented cutting edge ai i tried to focus on both of them i spent almost 70% of my training uh research ai 30% of my time uh, 70% of my time uh, in research ai 30% of my time on applied ai ai when when i am getting started in my early days i would spend almost 90% of time on reading applied artificial intelligence since i read enough about applied artificial intelligence now i am reading mostly cutting edge uh, cut, cutting edge research to keep myself update with what with what's happening in the, in industry or or in research for somebody getting started i would say uh, i would say spend almost 90% of your time on reading applied ai reading reading discussion uh, discussions like uh, like this there, there are only two ways to learn new things you either do it or you read and learn from others uh, learn from others who have done it kaggle uh, provides a great platform to read and learn from others of course i strongly recommend you also do it because nothing nothing beats to do it yourself this this is what uh, we will uh, we will uh, we will do uh, during case studies just go through this lecture we will try to understand all these things with the help of case studies in my future lectures thank you very much